Hello everybody, I'm Angie with D's and today I get to share with you one of our favorites, our lighted galvanized jack-o-lantern. Now you're going to get this as a kit and what you're going to get in your kit is going to be the amber firefly lights. These are plug-in and again they are the little tiny LED. They're going to save your energy with a nice copper cord. You're going to get a nice little pick that we're going to do our famous little accent bows and attach to the side in each yard of each three ribbons that we have. So now I'm going to show you how that we put this together. It's super super easy. I always start with my lights first. So whenever you plug in your lights, if they don't come on immediately, each, the 100 counts has a, a remote control. So if they don't come on immediately, you've got your on button and your off. And again, these have a timer feature also. It's right in the middle, and you're gonna kinda use it the same as you've done your others in the past. Whatever time you want it to come on, you hit that timer feature and it should flicker. And then that should come on. It's, say if you want it to come on at six o'clock in the evening, it'll come on every night at the same time, stay on for six hours, and then shut itself off. Really easy breezy. Now, once I've turned these on, I like to find my uh, middle of the, the strand. Don't have to be exactly in the middle, but somewhere close. And then I just kind of unravel them. You want to make sure you try to uncoil them because it allows it to really kind of spring up and fill the space that you're putting in really nice. So, let's see. I would say this is pretty close to the middle. Now these will really um, knot up on you, so try to make sure you keep your two sides separate. I'm gonna go ahead and take this side here, and I'm gonna attach one end to the side of the handle of the lantern, and that's gonna keep it elevated and suspended when I drop all of these lights down into our jack-o'-lantern. And now I'm really just going to feed it. Just going to feed our nice little jack o -lantern. And So I'm almost getting to my, uh-oh, got my oh, cords mixed up there. So I'm almost getting to the halfway point. So when we get to that halfway point, we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to take it, and we're going to attach it. And you can use whatever side you want doesn't matter but I'm going on the other side just to kind of help get it a little bit even here and then now I'm just going to fill the balance of it now these are really good for people if they want to put it for Halloween or for fall because the look that we've picked out today is really a kind of like a neutral look and that way you can get a little more life out of your lighted jack-o'-lantern. A lot of people like to put them on their stairs as they're coming into their homes uh, or on the steps, sometimes on the porch, maybe the entryway when you get in there to kind of light it up and welcome people into the home. Um, if you have the ability to use an outlet on your mantle, it looks really, really cute on a mantle. Um, now, again, we're on the last end, and again, I just kind of like wrap that around just to help keep it suspended. That way, see how nice and illuminated that is? They're not all just falling down to the bottom. And then don't worry about the cord, we're gonna cover that up with our cute little accent bow. So just like you've always seen before, we're just gonna cut some of this stem off. And then we're gonna, um, the balance of the weight of this is gonna go downward. So that's why we have the, the cut end going up. And then I'm just gonna open up and make room for where I'm gonna place my bow. And again, you guys know to open it up your stem, don't be afraid to pull things around to the front and reposition it the way that you like it. Cause it will be fine. You can always redirect it once you get, once you get everything back on with your, with your ribbon. So now you're gonna get a yard of each one of these. Again, we've got these cute little nice fun colors, prints, and we're just going to add a, a small little tail going up. I always measure about my hand size. I know I've probably got a small hand. Now we're not going to make our loops as large as we normally do because, again, you only have one yard. So you want to make them, you know, I would say maybe a three and a half inch loop widthwise like this. And then you're going to end up with a little long tail. And we're going to do that with all three. So we're just going to pinch this, and we're going to twist it, make our nice little loop. Now, if you guys have already purchased one of these galvanized pumpkins in the past, because they have been very much of a favorite, we've sold out of these before, um, these 
Amber Firefly Lights are also going to be on shopthieslouisville.com, so you can go online and purchase those if you already got your galvanized pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern. And then here I am finishing up with the last ribbon. Nice, fun, and festive. Got our lovely cloth covered wire. And you guys can all, you shouldn't have to run out of that because we got this back on shopthieslouisville.com too. So you should be able to uh, keep all your craft making items at hand. And then I'm just going to tighten that up. Now, where we've opened up a gap in between, we're just going to place that bow right there. Here's one more string. We're tying it on. Now, I always do try to knot mine. Make sure it really cinches in pretty nice. And then before I attach it onto my jacqueline, I'm going to finish up my tails. And you know how we like our cute little bee cuts. So you just fold it and then cut it. Fold it in half and give it a cut. And then you want to pull that pumpkin kind of nicely in the center. I like to add a few of these leaves up towards the front. Kind of hides that stem that we cut a little bit. Fluff it up some. Pull some of this through. Put your tail down in there. Bring some of these through. And then I'm going to bring up that nice little berry and let that show. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to attach it right onto the handle. And I'm going to put it to the handle where we've got our cord so we can kind of camouflage that a little bit. And all I'm doing is twisting this on. I'm not tying it so that if you want to um, store it, let me pull up my handle a little bit. It's easier to salvage your um, accent bow. So that way you can untwist it and um, maybe store it a little, with a little bit more care. Again, just twisting it on, getting it nice and tight, and then we're done. And then you just go back, redirect your loops, give them a little tuck where you want them. And you have your nice little fall or Halloween lighted jack-o'-lantern. Thanks again, and remember to go on to shopthieslouisville.com and order all of your supplies.